We are at a pivot point in history. Humanity will change more in the next 20 years than in the 300 years before. Technology is now the defining factor of our society. We will be able to travel virtually to the most amazing places directly from our living room or using our mobile devices. Billions of devices and objects will be connected in the Internet of Things. Soon technology is moving inside of us, becoming a part of us. Our contact lenses will be connected to the Internet and nanobots will be in our bloodstreams, fixing our cholesterol. Life will be magical, abundant, full of possibilities. What could be better? Because we know, don't we, that what makes us human will never change. I know what you're thinking. Connectivity is like oxygen. We need it to live. Even at the price of losing our privacy? Your connected car, your smart fridge, your wearables will talk to your doctor and your insurance company. Yes, indeed, data is the new oil. These exponential changes are unstoppable. Man and machine will converge. We are about to transcend humanity. Is it creepy or useful? Is it heaven or is it hell? What will it mean to be human in a world where everyone will need to be amplified or augmented by algorithms? By 2027, computers are likely to match the capacity of the human brain perhaps even reach some kind of awareness or emotional intelligence. Yes, artificial intelligence and cognitive computing are incredibly powerful. But if we fail to consider the unintended consequences, such as, for example, an intelligence explosion, these advances could be more dangerous than nuclear weapons. Why would we expect robots or artificial intelligence to share or even understand human values, ethics and emotions. Technology doesn't have ethics, but the future of humanity depends on it. We need to spend just as much time on the norms and the values and the context than we spend on technology itself. After all, the future is not just something that happens to us, the future is something that we create. Are you ready for your future shock? Come with me and see where the story takes us next.